Is the phone in your pocket useful for audio analysis? In one of my most recent videos, How to Analyze and EQ Any Room, I made a recommendation for viewers to download the DB Meter app on the iPhone. So this app is completely free, and as I mentioned in that video, even if I don't believe it's 100% accurate, it's useful to have as a reference of volume. However, several viewers seem to be very much opposed to using the iPhone for this sort of analysis. Honestly, I don't blame them for the outrage. After all, how could an iPhone measure up to a professional DB meter? In this video, we're going to find out. After we find out from today's sponsor, me. Are you interested in recording music? Is your Christmas wish list filled with XLR cables and plugins? My channel here on YouTube is all about practical tips for playing and recording music. Smash the like and subscribe buttons for more videos just like this. Visit our store and spend lots of money at GreenFamilyMusic.com for originally recorded music, albums, and more. When it comes to measuring sound, one of the most important things to know is about A, C, and Z weighing. The type of weighing used by your DB Meter app or DB Meter will have a significant effect on your results. Here's a breakdown of each. Now the most common type of weighing is A weighing. A weighing is meant to mimic the human ear. This effectively cuts off the lower and higher frequencies that the average person cannot hear. So what that means is that what the dB meter is turning into is a human ear instead of a robot, if that helps. Here's a graph giving a representation of what A weighing looks like. So as you can see, lots of the low end is rolled off as well as the high end. A weighted measurements are expressed as either dBA or DB parentheses A. C weighing is volume dependent and will basically flatten out at louder levels. C weighing is most useful when trying to measure peak values. You'll see C weighing designated by DBC or DB parentheses C. C weighing tends to become flatter at levels above 100 decibels, which is very, very loud. Less commonly used and known about is Z-weighing. Z-weighing is basically a flat response all across the frequencies. You'll see this indicated by DBZ or DB parentheses Z. For this video, we'll take a look at how both A and C-weighing affects both the DB meter app and the DB meter. For your purposes, most likely you'll be good sticking with the DBA in most situations. Of course, you can find the DB meter app on the app store. Just look for the free version. I don't have the paid for version. And if you're looking for this DB meter to get it for yourself, there's a link in the description below. It'll take you to Amazon. So here in this video, I'd like to measure these two meters with human speech, what I'm talking basically right now, playing my acoustic guitar on both of these, and then also want to blast some music from this monitor that's behind me. First things first, I'm going to do my best to place both the iPhone and the DB meter on the most opportune points on this music stand nearby. Now the iPhone, you have a choice on this app. I'm gonna be using the microphone that's at the bottom. This is the most useful one. And of course the DB meter has a microphone on top. So I'll have these pointed essentially like this. If you're a scientist, you will probably be gagging at the methods that I use. Clearly this is not gonna produce the most scientific result, but the question I want answered is, can the iPhone compete with a DB meter? So obviously if the iPhone says 82 and the DB meter says 96, I would say Houston, we have a problem. Having not seen any of the results just yet, my expectation is that we will most likely see something like 92 on the iPhone and 94 on the DB meter, just a little bit different from each other. You'll hear this run twice. The first one with the A weighted setting, and then I'll switch it over to C weighted. Here I am speaking like a normal person as much as I possibly can so that you can see what each dB meter is picking up. The more I am capable of using run-on sentences like this, the more time we'll be able to see how each meter performs. All right, so here's our C-weighted response. Here I am speaking like a normal person as much as I possibly can so that you can see how each dB meter is picking up. The more I am capable of using run-on sentences like this, the more time we'll be able to see how each meter performs. Next, let's test the acoustic guitar. All right, here is A weighted with the acoustic guitar.
Last but not least, I want to pump some music through this speaker. Let's see how they compare. All right, here is the music at A weighted. Here's the C-weighted music. By and by, when the morning comes, when the saints of God are gathered home, we will tell the story how we've overcome. We will understand it better by and by. This meter right here, it does seem to be, I would, I would hope that this thing is accurate but it was pretty consistently lower than what the iPhone was. The iPhone would typically, especially when it came to the music being played, you saw that the iPhone would have numbers registering like 84 or 85, and then this thing here would register like 79 or 80. So the iPhone was definitely more sensitive to volume. And like I said in the other video where we're analyzing the room, what I would typically do is I will have music playing at a very comfortable volume. So if I'm here in this room at home, I'll play a professionally mixed song through iTunes or whatever, have it playing, and I'll look at the number that it gives me. Because again, it doesn't matter if this says 80 or 90. If it's too loud, it's too loud. So I set the volume very comfortably. This tells me that it's 80. I now know that I'm looking for 80 on the iPhone. Whereas if I'm using both of these, I definitely need to pick one or the other because a difference of three or four decibels can be really big, especially in a live sound environment. So while I was playing music through the speaker, we were seeing numbers as high as like 104, I believe, on this meter here. Whereas this one was, again, reaching three or four decibels higher. So 110 decibels is definitely going to be very, very loud. If you're doing live sound like at your church or in a PA system, 110 is crazy loud. I would not. <laughs> I've been to situations where I pulled out this dB meter and I've seen things as high as 110, 120. It's not very comfortable even for like loud music. So... Typically, anything in the 90s is going to be plenty high enough for me. And I think that this one, for it being free, it definitely packs a punch. You should have this on your phone. This did not blow up when compared to the dB meter. But if you want to go on Amazon, you want to get this thing for yourself. It, again, it runs about $30. Links are in the description below. You can check this thing out for yourself. If you made it this far in the video, I want to highly encourage you to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Here's a link to a video that YouTube thinks you would really enjoy. So give that one a tap and be sure to check back every week for more videos just like this. Take care out there.